Welcome to United Coder video tutorial. In this video tutorial, I will talk about how to use Amazon AWS Device Farm for web application browser compatibility testing. When you design Selenium WebDriver UI automation framework, you may run your test against different browsers such as Google Chrome, Mozilla Firefox, and Internet Explorer. If you run your test on your machine, then you need to install all of the browsers and you need to download the respected drivers from the website. And you need to keep upgrading the driver whenever the browser is updated. If you run your test in the CI CD process, then you need to update the driver on your uh, CI build server such as Jenkins or Bamboo. Updating the Chrome driver or Firefox driver or Internet Explorer driver on Bamboo server or Jenkins always take time. And it will cause a lot of management overhead for DevOps. If you use Amazon AWS Device Farm, you can easily set up a new project and you can run your test against different browsers in parallel or sequentially. Now let's look at the uh, infrastructure. So uh, you can find the article on the Amazon website. Amazon AWS Device Farm uh, supports Google Chrome, Mozilla Firefox, and Microsoft Internet Explorer on Windows operating system. So all you need to do is you design your test locally and then you run your test on Amazon infrastructure. So in order to run your test on Amazon AWS, you need to enable the device farm in your account and then you need to create a project. In this example, I created a project called United Coder Test. So whenever you create a project, you will have a project ARN, uh, basically uh, the project resource uh, endpoint, you can use this uh, for your testing. In this demo, I displayed this uh, project, but once the project uh, is over, then I will uh, delete this one and create a new one. So you, you can always refresh a new project ID. So now uh, I will give you a demo how you implement this in the code. So this is Amazon Cloud Google Search Test Java. I used a test ng uh, framework. Uh, basically, in the test ng uh, framework, I created, uh, I used before class annotation and the test annotations and uh, uh, also like after class. In the test annotation, I will use a uh, class called the uh, Google Search. So this Google search code is pretty simple. So in this code, I use a remote web driver parameter and operating system as a string and a browser and then a search string. And currently uh, this operating system and browser is not used. Uh, but I use this uh, in the uh, test ng, uh, the test annotation method. So in this Google search, I open the Google website and I maximize the browser. Then I find the Google search element Q and I send a string and press enter key and then uh, the result should display. So this is a, a very simple code uh, for implementing uh, Google search using Selenium WebDriver automation. Now let's look at the actual test execution. In the test execution, in the before class, uh, I did the setup. So I define the project uh, ARN, project resources. Then I create a client. The client is basically using the device uh, farm client builder, using the region uh, US West 2, and I build the client 
and I created a um, test grid URL request. Basically, you need to create a request and you need to create a response object. So in the request, I created um, a request builder and it times out in uh, 300 uh, seconds. So I created a response uh, object, create test grid URL response and client that uh, create a response for the request. So this is a set type. Basically, I want to uh, reuse the client in subsequent test. So now let's look at the first test uh, using the Firefox. So in the Firefox test, uh, basically I use the desired capabilities. I set up a, um, a desired capabilities for a Firefox browser. And browser version is using latest version and platform is operating system. Of course, for this uh, operating system and uh, browser, uh, I use uh, the enum data type. Uh, for operating system, I choose Windows, uh, Mac, and Linux. Currently, the device farm uh, supports Windows, so I just use this one. And for browser, I defined Chrome and Firefox, uh, Safari, and Internet Explorer, but uh, Safari is not used. So once I uh, use the Firefox, then uh, I create a driver, driver equal to new uh, remote web driver, then using the uh, remote URL and desired capability test. So basically this test will run on Firefox browser. And Google search, Google search equals new Google search, then assert that, assert true. Uh, Google search dot Google search test. So basically, I'm using the driver operating system Windows and uh, uh, browser uh, Firefox. Then I will search for Washington DC. So using similar approach, uh, in the second test, Google search test Chrome. In this one, uh, only the uh, parties, uh, the different parties, desired capabilities are different. So in the desired capabilities, I give the browser name Chrome, uh, browser version is latest, and platform is Windows. Uh, now in this test, I search for New York. And third test, Google search uh, for IE. So in this test, uh, browser name is uh, Internet Explorer, browser version is latest, and platform is Windows. So once the test is done, in the after class, I do driver.quit. So this will uh, terminate the browser session. So now we have uh, three uh, test messages uh, for Google search. And this Google search will uh, run uh, sequentially on the different browsers. Now let me run the test and we can observe the uh, test video on Amazon Cloud. So I right click and click on run. So in order to use the Amazon device farm on your machine, of course, you need to pass the authentication. The authentication means uh, you need to provide the um, secret key and the user key, and you need to set up that in your uh, environment variable settings, because you need to uh, use the authentication uh, to access the Amazon uh, device farm infrastructure. As you see here, uh, the test uh, started. Now uh, it is in the um, uh, Google uh, Chrome test. Since I did not include the login here, uh, it did not lo uh, log uh, much information, but uh, we will see the uh, test uh, result shortly. As you see here, it is uh, already uh, initiated the uh, open QA Selenium remote sessions. Uh, it's at like a create sessions. Now Google search test for Chrome uh, is completed and it's passed. Uh, searching search string New York and search result is uh, this much under the second. Now it's run on the test on Firefox. So we can uh, continue watching the result and then we can uh, see the video on Amazon AWS. The benefit of using Amazon device farm is you don't really worry about the infrastructure for installing the uh, Chrome driver, uh, Firefox driver, 
for Internet Explorer driver. And if you want to run the test uh, on, uh, on a specific version, then you can run it. Especially if you have a big enterprise application and if your client is using a specific version of a browser uh, for your application, then you can, uh, you can define the version of the browser and you can run it. So using this approach, you can easily define test, test method, and then uh, you can run your test against different browsers uh, without worrying about the infrastructure. So now the test is in the, uh, using the IE Internet Explorer browser. Now let's look at the result shortly. So when the test is running, uh, you can uh, see the result on the Amazon uh, Cloud Console. So now I open the project. As you see here, this timestamp is, uh, it is uh, April 22nd. Uh, this is like a 925. Uh, this is 9.25, this is 9.24, so previously it uh, ran uh, on Chrome and the second it ran on a Firefox and the third one is uh, it ran test on Internet Explorer. And the code is using, now you see like three um, uh, test messages passed. And Chrome version is uh, 90. Firefox version is 87 and for Internet Explorer, it is using version 11. Now, as you see here, uh, two sessions, uh, two se one, the uh, session is closed and two sessions are active. So now uh, let's look at the um, uh, session video. So I click on the uh, Internet Explorer and here are the videos. The good thing about Amazon AWS device farm is uh, it will uh, take videos uh, for entire test execution. So you don't have to worry about logging and uh, taking videos uh, because you have uh, full transparency for the test automation. Now I click on play video. As you see here, uh, this uh, test is executed. Now I can uh, open uh, the project again. Now we can see uh, this is a Chrome index for the Firefox. Let's look at the Firefox one. And it is uh, showing the videos. Now I click on uh, play video. Uh, video is this video is unsupported on the browser. So it looks like uh, when you uh, run the test on a Firefox, it's unsupported, uh, but it should. Let's look at the uh, result one more time. Our session is still active. Now I can uh, look at the Chrome and uh, uh, click on the play videos. As you see here, this is a Google Chrome. So Chrome is open and this is uh, for searching the New York. Okay, uh, searching city and New York. Now let's look at the Firefox and video will be accessible once session is closed. So click on play videos. Now, as you see here, this is uh, this test is running the test uh, on uh, Mozilla uh, Firefox. As you see on the header, it is uh, for Firefox. So using this uh, simple code, I demonstrated uh, how you can use Amazon AWS uh, device farm uh, for your uh, browser compatibility testing. And code is uh, very simple. So you can find this code. Uh, on the Amazon AWS uh, device farm website and this website has a lot of uh, to, uh, like a video tutorial uh, you can open the getting started uh, you can do selenium grid users and it has uh, like migrating selenium test to device farm uh, desktop browser testing you can do JUnit uh, format so you need to add the dependency uh, in your maven file and once you have the dependency, so you set up the uh, client, as I uh, mentioned in early, and you, you create a request object, and the, in the request object, you include the timeout and project resource URL. Then you get the response object. And uh, once you get the response object, then uh, you need to define uh, the operating system, the type of browser, and the versions using uh, desired capabilities. 
and once you you define it the driver you are uh, using remote web driver and then uh, you do like all types of actions and then uh, you do assertion of course uh, like uh, authentication is important uh, you need to set up the aws access key and aws secret key uh, in your environment uh, variable settings so thanks for uh, watching uh, stay tuned with uh, united coder video tutorial uh, more videos will come